Good morning, I'm still Jeremy and I'm here at Gobo Station in Wakayama Prefecture and I'm going to spend today investigating something called the Kishu Railway. Gobo is a JR station, Japan Rail, the National Japan Rail Network. From Gobo Station all the way over to a station called Taki, almost 300 kilometers, there is no other intersecting train line. It's the longest section of track in Japan where there is no intersecting train line. But there is one here at Gobo and it's the tiny, tiny Kishu Railway. Today I'll be riding the length of Japan's second shortest train line and then walking back along it to see the area up close. Along the way I'll investigate where the line used to go when it was longer, make a complete fool of myself by barging into someone's private space, I think somebody's in here. rejoice in the oddities and endure the problems of rural Japan, Ouch. and get interviewed by a local TV crew about my YouTube travels. demo. All this on a train line that makes no profit and takes less than 10 minutes from end to end. The Kishu Railway is Japan's second shortest train line. It is just over a mile and a half long, it has five stations, so because it's so short, there's a special genius way I thought of to actually see it today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride the entire line, trains leave about once an hour, eight minutes all the way to the end, the whole thing takes eight minutes, and then I'm going to get off at the last station and walk back here to Gobo to see everything in more detail, to actually visit each station and the neighborhoods around each station. Okay, here's a quiz for you. There are four platforms here at Gobo Station. Platforms number one, two, and three are for JR, various JR trains. So which platform is for the Kishu Railway? If you said platform four, you're wrong. It's platform zero. Okay, this is the end, Nishigobo Station. It did indeed take eight minutes. And as soon as I got off the train here, I was, uh, I was uh, uh, met by a little camera, a camera crew from a local TV station who asked if they could interview me about why, interview me about why I'm here. And they're in fact filming me right now doing this. So we're gonna have a competing footage here, me talking to you and maybe I'll be on TV at some point. I don't know when. Anyway, he's still filming me, so I'm gonna keep talking. Um, so this train line has two cars, only two trains. Each train is one car long. So they have two cars, two diesel trains. As you can hear behind me, they're all diesel, kind of noisy. And I think one, like today, it's just going to be this train, this red one. It just goes back and forth. It takes eight minutes, waits a while, and then after about half an hour wait or whatever, it goes the other direction, just back and forth, back and forth. 
about once an hour. So this is Nishigobo Station. This is the end. And we're gonna look around this little station. Most stations on this line, uh, there is no building. There is a building for this one, so we'll go check it out. Of course, there's a drink machine. Nice plywood paneling, unpainted for that extra rural look. The ceiling is very sloped. So it's kind of ramshackle. Got some cool pictures of the way things used to be, a little museum of sorts. Well, here's the train that I arrived on, sitting at Nishigobo Station. This is the end of the line, as you see, no getting through there. But it didn't used to be the end of the line. If you look behind me here, the tracks continue. So I'm gonna walk uh, to see the actual end of the line as it used to be. This was actually in the 80s, I think 1989, when this was last used. There was a bridge over here, continuing that way. And this whole section shut down in 1989. I'm not sure how close I can stay to the tracks, but we'll see what we can do. Some of this, of course, maybe all of it, is on private land, and I'm not sure, not sure how close I can get. A little parking area here. Hmm. Okay. Let's walk. The rails here do not seem to be in bad shape. No admittance, do not enter. <laughs> do not throw trash. All right, but the rails continue. Let's see if we can follow them somehow. I'm not sure how well I captured Nishigobo station right there because while I was going around trying to get my camera settings correct and think of what to film and what to say the TV guy with his camera was sort of lurking around and following me around and filming me doing that and I knew that some of the things I was saying I was like tripping up over my words so I wasn't really going to use it in my YouTube video but I thought well he might put this stuff on TV so it was making me all self-conscious oh what a life I lead here all right, they're still here. I don't know how far these go. Comes from that direction, and it would have continued this way. Down there, I guess I can't enter here. It's like a jungle anyway. We'll go around here, see if we can pick it up on the other side of this building. If you will notice, this is not a tourist area. This is just industrial, very, very rural, forgotten area. This area is actually famous, among other things, I think, for textiles, and maybe still is. Aha, here they are. So this is where it came through that jungle area, and right to here. When I rode the train, there were about four, five, six other people on it. And uh, I wondered how many of them were actually there just to ride the train, like locals, and how many of them were there like train nerds, because I, I know a couple were. I just see, I just saw the guy who I remember we were getting in each other's way trying to get photos of the train coming at Gobo Station. Anyway, this here, Toyo Tire, this whole thing, used to be a station, used to be a platform back in the old times. It was called Hino de Bogsekimai. It's a lot to remember. But it was here, um, the platform was sort of where I'm standing now, I think, or somewhere near here. Anyway, this is now a road. You see this old kind of railway, railway gate thingy fence here. So that was the rail line. Now the tracks go this way. Still here, still very overgrown here. Let's continue down. Some of the information that I have about this, I got from 
a Japanese blog that I translated on Google Translate. And so that's how I know where the X station used to be and stuff like that. And that blog said that this area was bombed during World War II and that on the wall here, they said you can see holes where some of the, the bullets hit or the strafing, uh, whatever that is, from planes and stuff. When the planes were flying and firing bullets onto the whoever, onto the, the industry around here. I see the tracks going off that way, behind that white building, this little white building. I don't know. I hope this cuts through over here. We can meet up with them again somehow. Man, I don't even know what some of these buildings are. They're, well, it used to be karaoke, karaoke. Not now, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it still is karaoke. Probably not. I think this area being what it is, is what attracts rail fans here, Japanese rail fans. I am not a rail fan per se. I don't actually know about trains. I just enjoy riding them and seeing where the lines go. Maybe that does make me a train nerd, but I don't actually know anything about it. But I think because this line is so far out in the middle of nowhere and can't be a money maker. I'm gonna talk about the money in a little bit for the company that owns it, because it, they must not be making money on it, and yet the line stays open. I've lost the trail, but I have hope. And I'll find it again somewhere. Oh, I see him, I see him. Okay. So it came through there. Can't really see much here, but here you go. The best way I can describe this area, this neighborhood, the feel of being here is that it's an abandoned ghost town where people still live. And I'm kind of getting the sense that people like me coming here to take photos and document the, the train line, probably not that unusual. Maybe it's unusual to see a foreigner doing it. Okay, here we go again. They're continuing that way. Look at this old rail sign. That's awesome. If you could get that off and straighten it out, maybe. It'd be a nice decoration for your barn. The trail has gone cold again. But I think it's up here somewhere. The actual final, final station. Ah, I see the rails. I see the rails. Okay, so this is the final part. This is where the trains would come in. And the remnants of the station are still here. This was called Hidakagawa Station, after the nearby Hidakagawa, Hidaka River. Wow, look at this, that's quite well preserved. Don't know if I'd trust a train going over it right now. But... So this is the old train platform. Okay, so this is it. This was the end of the line, always was the end of the line, it never went further than this. Uh, this was Hidakagawa Station, and it, this is the platform where it used to be. There used to be a bigger station here somewhere, it's gone now because the original one was actually the central station, was where the line was actually administered, so the main offices and stuff were in the station here. Um, it, was, it was bombed in World War II and burned to the ground. They rebuilt a different station, and now in 1989, when this line was uh, shortened, then the station also went. But the concrete uh, platform is still here. The base of whatever this is is still here. Okay, well now we have seen the end of the line as it used to be. We've seen as far as we can. There's a river there and it never went over the river. But now let's go back to walk back to Nishigobo where I got off the train and then we'll walk from there back to the big station Gobo as close as I can. I'm going to try to stay as close as I can to the tracks on these little back alleys and see what sights we can see on the way. So 
So I forgot to tell you, at uh, Nishigobo Station, uh, according to the latest data on the internet, about 21 people a day actually get on the train at that station, which is almost nothing. But the next station is far fewer, and it's only 300 meters away. You could almost throw a rock and hit the next station. potential for hitting dead ends is even higher than normal today. Uh, let's see, this can't possibly cut through anywhere. Well, goes right to the tracks. I don't think you're supposed to walk along the tracks. Now that would be a crime in this area that would probably almost not ever get me in trouble, but I'm not gonna do it. Behave yourself in someone else's country, I say. So as I endeavor to not get arrested, um, tell you a little bit more about what I know about this train line. It uh, started in 1931, and it was just a little way to get people here in Gobo around, just, you know, quick little line to get people back and forth in town and it was quite popular but in the 60s the popularity started decreasing I'm not sure why um, in 1973 it was purchased by a company that is actually a real estate and hotel company based in Tokyo and they didn't have any train lines but they bought this one because according to Wikipedia they wanted the prestige and trust that comes with owning a train line I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm not sure why. I mean, if I was in real estate, I don't think I would care whether the company owned a tiny rural money-losing train line somewhere in the distant wild west of southern Wakayama Prefecture. But apparently, maybe that's why I'm not in real estate. I don't understand things like that. Well, before we continue on the walk, I think it's lunchtime. And look, there's a Lawson convenience store. Just what I need. If I don't get run over by this little truck, Onigiri's coming soon. Okay, I got me some snacks for lunch. And not only that, but I think I have a place to eat my lunch. Right here is Shiakushomai Station. This station is the least used station on this line, the Kishu line. An average of five people a day get on the train here. Sort of related to that, there's nobody sitting on the bench right now. So I'm going to go over there, sit and have my lunch, and probably no one will come the rest of the time that I'm there. But we'll see. Okay, got some lunch in me and I got some more energy now. One thing I like about Shiakusho Mai Station here is that every station I've ever been to in Japan, no matter how tiny and rural, there's always some place to park bicycles. Even for little tiny stations, it can be just maybe space for you know, half a dozen little bicycles just somewhere. There does not seem to be anything like that here. But there's a bicycle parked here on the platform. Maybe one of the five people a day that uses this uh, station gets on the train here, just parks their bike on the platform. And for them, in this one case, that's okay.
Okay, this line continues with surprises. Believe it or not, this large modern-ish building here is the station. This is Key Gobo Station. It's the middle of the five stations on the line, and this is sort of the heart of the line. This is where the administrative stuff takes place, whatever that means. This is kind of the central station of the line. I don't actually know if anybody's working here, but it is like an indoor place. So I'm excited to see this. This is as complicated, this is as modern as the infrastructure is going to get on the line today. Um, uh, Kishu Tetsudo no pamphlet ka chirashi ka aru? Ah, well, not only is Ki Gobo staffed, but the guy gave me a cool little pamphlet about the line, so it's official now. This station is not only the main station, I think it's also where trains sit when they're not being used. There's also a couple of trains. Um, not sure what these are. I'm not sure these are just disused completely trains, but anyway, they're sitting there on a sideline apparently gathering dust. If you see over here is another disused train, and that's actually a, uh, an attraction of sorts, a tourist attraction on this line. You can actually go up to it. I don't know if you can go in it, but go check that out. Okay, here it is. This is the old diesel train called Kiha 603 and it was used on this line until 2009, so not that long ago. And let's see if we can go see inside. Oh, yeah, we can actually go inside. Wow, look at this. somebody's in here. Am I supposed to be here? I don't know. Somebody is in there. Is this an office? Why am I here? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's somebody in there behind a curtain sitting at a desk, like working or something. I can't tell behind the curtain, but I think maybe maybe it's like not just an old train maybe it's actually an office somebody's office that i just walked into and yelled wow look at this wow look at this oops all right well having disturbed the peace let's continue to the next station well how was i supposed to know one thing i do like about japan is that they're often nice little parks very small to just sit around, have a little rest in. Can I take back what I said about that nice park? I've walked in some kind of weeds or grass or something. It's got little sharp things all over my shoes and along the edges of my socks and ankles. Ouch! Little needles are poking me in the ankles. Thanks a lot, Gobo. I guess the lesson is, if I was actually riding the train, that wouldn't have happened. Oh, here it is. This is a station. Well, that was fast. This is Gakumon Station, and Gakumon means basically like the entrance to the school. Right there is a big complex of a junior high school and high school. That's why it's called that. This station is kind of known for being like a, it represents like success as a student in school. So almost nobody rides the train. There's one person, a student actually here waiting, which is probably unusual. But uh, students do come here to the platform anyway, for this right here. This is, if you see inside, a Jizo statue. 
little kind of Buddha statue which represents uh, good luck and health for children, and in this case, I guess, specifically success as a student. So, right here, built into the platform, you can come here, worship the Jizo, and probably not bother to ride the train, because very few people do. I researched it. It's actually seven people a day, on average, get on the train at that station. Two of them were waiting when I was there. What are the odds? So that was the fourth station, so there's only one more. And that's Gobo. So there's only one more piece of walking to do here, from this station all the way to Gobo. And this is by far the longest piece where there's no tr uh, stations. It's about one and a half kilometers, almost a mile. And um, it's gonna go through a different landscape. This was all old crumbling houses and stuff. The next part's gonna be a lot of rice fields and hopefully some nice views of the train rolling by if the timing works out. What if that's the same driver I keep seeing? I think it's the same guy over and over. I gotta say, out here, the rice fields there, the wind turbines on the distant hill, the train tracks right here, and right here in the middle, this building, is a bar. One of the world's great locations for a bar. About the money that this line makes or doesn't make, um, I know from Wikipedia, if I can trust the data there, the ridership of each station. So I know how many people total a day on average get on this train. And I know that the maximum ticket price is 180 yen for a ride. So I calculated that uh, in a year, the max that the um, company would be taking in just from ticket sales would be around, I don't know, something like 16 or 17 million yen. And a salary for a driver is probably somewhere around three or four or five million yen, maybe. Don't know how many drivers they have. Of course, there's also upkeep on the trains and the line and everything. So there's virtually no way that this train line is actually making money. That's one thing that makes the train line so strange. It's so rural and it's so seldom used, but it continues. Just right down here on this piece of track, can't really see anything, but in 2017, the train derailed. It wasn't serious, it just like a, the wheel came off and nobody was hurt. But the reason they decided was that the cross beams were made of these, this old wood and it was rotting and they needed to be replaced. So they started replacing it with concrete cross ties. And I noticed on the way down when I rode down that for a while they're concrete, but then every third or fourth cross tie is concrete. I think they probably just can't afford it or don't want to spend the money. So they're thinking, well, we'll do some of them in concrete to sort of reinforce the thing. So maybe it's an ongoing project, but more evidence that uh, money is not the point of this. So what is the point? Okay, I found the super secretive compartment in Compartment in is where the... And we're back at Gobo Station. Now you can say you know Kishu Railway better than any of your friends. So I'm going to find a train to head back to Osaka and uh, thanks for coming with me. And it's been a great and weird time. I may have become a TV star since I uh, recorded this. So if so, if I'm a big celebrity in Japan now, then I would, I would like to thank the little people. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
A couple weeks later, the Osaka TV station story about this same train line aired, and amongst the interviewees, there I was, Japan's newest star. For about 45 seconds, anyway. This train's gonna take me over. 実は世界各地の列車を巡っているユーチューバーで、紀州鉄道に乗ること自体が彼の旅の目的。乗ってみた感想は？八分間してたでも本当に乗乗った途中びっくりした。Many thanks to my Patreon supporters who help make these videos possible and who, for as little as a dollar a month, can watch new videos at least a week before they're published. Special thanks to Jacob Fats, Nathaniel Holland, Omeyer, Ray Nichols, and Will Phillips. Also thanks to subscribers to my free weekly email newsletter who can watch new videos a day before they're published. If you'd like to join either one, links are in the video description. And thanks for wandering around with me.